Gail, as a sequence to what I had to say yesterday concerning the times in which we're living, how important it is to have our minds rightly fixed upon what thus saith the scriptures. And that's why that I emphasize the, the importance of we as Christians should have a right understanding of the concept of what is known as the rapture or the second coming of Christ. And briefly, I'd just like to mention how important it is to have some understanding of, a, of an epic time in the ages past concerning the importance and the great influence that Christianity had upon civilization. Namely, I'm referring to that epical work uh, written, a historical account of the, of the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. And little do people realize how important the Christian community were in enabling uh, the great powers of Rome to build the greatest civilization the world has ever known. Now to add to that, likewise the Christian community are the most influential, I mean, were the most influential entity concerning the fall of the Roman Empire. And that's the conclusion that Edward Gibbons, uh, the writer of that well-known historical account, some 700 pages of the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. And so in conclusion, I'm simply trying to, to convey the fact that there, there is some uh, uh, important knowledge to be learned from history. In this case, what was it that caused the fall of the Roman Empire? None other than the fact that the, 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 the great empire known as, as the Roman Empire failed to live up to its promises and thus they lost the respect of the Christian community. So in essence they said, Mr. Caesar, you have failed us, so now we turn our affections toward the, the greater hope and expectation. And that is that <coughs> we know that uh, that, that time of, of ecstasy known as the great uh, reign of Christ will come only come when Christ comes back to the earth. So friends, don't lose hope. Keep your eyes on the skies. But at the same time, be sensible and, and reasonable and, and, and try to understand in the context of God's Word. And friend, Gail, that's my message this morning, and I'll have more to say later on. Thank you, and God bless you.